Temu, the inexpensive website where you can buy literally anything, including a $7 Nintendo Switch. What is happening over here? I've already got a list of things that I found on this website that I just need to buy and see what the heck I get sent. A bunch of knockoff Nintendo Switch consoles and Joy-Cons. I really can't wait to see what I actually get sent. It should all be here in a week or two, so... You know, I gotta be honest, it got here pretty quickly, which is much better than AliExpress and Wish. I have no idea what to expect from Temu. All right, Temu, what did you send? Factor? Uh, you, you can't get Factor on Temu. You have to click the link in the description or go to factor75.com and use code beatemups50 to get 50% off your first box. Temu, you silly billies. How did you know I was sponsored by Factor? Let me tell you why you should grab Factor, like I do. I eat Factor all the time, and I'm not even kidding. They have a lot of options here, like calorie smart, veggie, vegan, keto, and they're just perfect for when I'm busy, on the go, trying to meet my end of summer goals. I don't have time to stand in the kitchen cooking for an hour and then cleaning everything up. Ugh! These bad boys take two minutes in the microwave, or you can put them in the oven. Then you have a hot, fresh, and ready meal, and and all the calorie smart options are like 500 calories. You don't believe me? Look how quick this is. This is a whole plate of food for 500 calories that I cooked in two minutes while making this ad break. And it tastes great. It tastes never frozen. It's because well, it's never frozen. <laughs> I can't stress enough that you won't beat the taste or the quality of Factor meals. I used to have frozen meals in the freezer. My God, I just can't eat frozen meals anymore. They're never good. They never defrost right and they always taste like they've been frozen. Factor tastes like somebody just made me dinner. Please click the link below and support me by supporting Factor, factor75.com. Use code beatemups50 to get 50% off your first box. Okay, I'm gonna start with this package because I know what's in it. Okay, this box is very beat up. It's an OLED Nintendo Switch, a Japanese model. The box is very banged up with a big gash out of the top and I'm just about a dent in every corner. This is very clearly a used Nintendo Switch. You can tell because the packaging's crinkled like it's been repackaged. It is in very nice condition though. Flawless condition, honestly. And everything here looks like it's never been used. I've made a lot of videos on AliExpress and Wish and Tem came out and everyone kept asking me to make a video about them because it was this weird thing where you download the app and at a certain time if you're quick enough you could buy a switch for 10 bucks it's a real thing i mean there's tiktoks about this i missed that however what is this x60 game box i had no idea it was going to be this small <laughs> Fresh out the box, I'm already playing Puzzle Bobble. No issues here. What else do we have? Mega Man, Street Fighter. Oh no, it sounds horrible now. And on this Mega Man game, my frames are starting to skip. You can actually audibly hear the lag skips in the gameplay. Yeah, I take it back. All right, it can play NES games, but it seems to struggle with basic SNES games. Set that to the side. But from a bad X60 gameplay handheld to what should be a good handheld, I've seen my friend Bob talk about the RG35 XX a lot. I went for the Atomic Purple. I thought that would look really nice, and it does. This actually feels like a quality handheld. It's heavy and this screen looks like the Switch OLED. Now, this shouldn't exist. It's also illegal. They send it with ROMs, which you're not supposed to do. I highly doubt this company, which is trying to, you know, not be sued and create a cool product, is gonna come with any ROMs. Uh... Oh, I lied. Oh, it came with so many games. There's over 900 games, 906 games on here. Let's try Fire Red. Oh, it sounds great. It looks great. Oh, this thing is awesome. Oh, I kind of want to ask Bob if it's supposed to come with all these games. I did not expect that. Hello. Hi, I just opened the RG35 
35 double x pretty sick by the way oh i know is it supposed to come with every game yeah they don't really like to advertise. oh okay i didn't know if that was a yeah. i didn't know if that was a temu thing or not yeah no you did it illegal congratulations all right mm. all right thanks appreciate it uh, no problem okay bye i redact and retract everything i said up until this point Leave it in those sacks. Oh, I made a lot of videos in the past with weird Joy-Cons and Nintendo Switch controllers. And I always like when people get wacky with them. And this is certainly wacky. So they look like normal Joy-Cons, but the side has LEDs. In my head, these were very cheap. So I'm going to review them as if they are. Oh, and look at that. There they go. They immediately paired and they immediately start working. I really actually like that. That's a nice vibe, you know? This is something I could see like on the next switch having leds on the side these joy cons are vibrating and actually i kind of felt like a wave of vibration almost like it has hd rumble which i highly doubt but it felt like pretty decent rumble they even do the one thing that i require from all third party joy cons they don't have charge points on the joy cons you don't have to plug the joy cons in to charge them that is Mwah. That is what I want from any third-party Joy-Con, and this does that? That makes me think they were more money than I thought they were. I have to check. 30 bucks? I'm impressed by that one, actually. And then I think I also just bought straight-up knockoff Joy-Cons. How much were these? So these were also 30 bucks. I think I bought these purely because they're just straight up Joy-Con clones. And I was wondering how they would compare. Plugged them in, ready to go. I'm already playing Pikmin. I honestly cannot tell a difference in these and regular Joy-Cons. God damn, we really, we're really, we're really doing pretty good here. All right, then we got this monstrosity of a package. All right. Ooh, there's a lot of goodies in here. We have another fake Switch console. I bought an Ocarina? Why did I buy an Ocarina? Whatever's in this tube. Oh, I forgot about the whole ass N64 game I bought. All right, I don't really know where to begin. Maybe let's look at to get this ocarina out of the way. Oh, they have how to play certain songs here. Apparently, that's Mary Had a Little Lamb. I have an N64 plugged up on my TV over there with a HDMI, which is why when I saw this, I was like, I could actually play this. The images made it look like it was going to be a HD Zelda Ocarina of Time, but surely it's just some fun mod and it doesn't look any different. Either way, I won't know until I play it, so... Let's go do that. There's already a file that says AAA, so I guess we'll load into that. Uh, this is definitely not how Ocarina of Time starts. Zelda 64 Dawn and Dusk. Oh my God, where am I? Why do I have a massive bed? This is completely different. You're off on your quest. I suppose you've been training for quite a while now. Be safe. I kind of want to play this. I feel like I have a new... Zelda. I guess I do. Regardless of all of that, the cartridge itself looks great. Dawn Grove. Okay. I'm gonna get stuck into this, so I gotta stop. <laughs> okay, I'm back from doing that, except I actually haven't done that yet. You, I don't know what happened. Whoa, it looked awesome. Okay, what's in this tube? Oh, it's so small. Oh, that's such a shame. I'm pretty sure when I bought it, the loading had a typo though. And this just says loading like normal, which is kind of disappointing. This is actually very soft. I wasn't expecting this to be like cashmere quality soft. I actually like it. All right, we got these little guys. I got two Pokemon collectible things. Oh yeah, they come with little sleeping bags. Oh, I forgot about that. That's so cute. Hey, you can come in. Actually, I need your help. You open that one, I'll open this one. This is all from Temu. I've actually Ooh. been having a surprisingly good time. Look at him. I know, and then you see this? Oh, he gets a beanbag. He gets a little oh. sleeping bag. Yo, they're actually really they're good. Really I've been baffled by this because I expected everything I bought to be like knockoffs, but everything's been shockingly exactly what I bought. These Pokemon ones, I don't know if they're actually the Pokemon company. It says Pokemon on them, and it has an official Pokemon sticker, and they look really good, so I think I just bought some Pokemon toys. How bad is it that AliExpress and Wish have just made me feel like I'm going to get scammed on something? So I knew both 
that these were going to be knockoffs. I intentionally bought knockoffs, but in the grand scheme of things and everything being perfectly fine and knowing that I bought knockoffs, these are pretty good too. They're exactly what they look like in their picture. I also bought this stuffy. We recently bought every Nintendo Switch. Part of that video had me buying the Thunderbolt Fragment Nintendo Switch Cross Collab. Other than the Nintendo Switch that they collabed on, they also collabed on some plushies and stuffies. There's a black Pikachu, a black Mew. The black Mew goes for thousands of dollars and the black Pikachu is not cheap either. This is a knockoff. I know that because it was like $7. I don't know much about these things, but looking at this and the tag they put on it, it looks legit. I'm actually even doubting it myself right now that I did buy a fake, but for $7, it would have to be. The Switch is real, I promise, but this was $7. And then the last toy that I bought was this Eevee Pokeball thing. The worst packaging so far of any of this, which is a shame because this is almost something I would want to keep in the box. I mean, chances are it's knockoff too, but it looks the same level of quality I would expect from a Pokemon toy I bought from Target. I think one thing that we can say for sure with all of these Temu products is that it's going to arrive looking like crap. The box is going to be banged up, going to be chips and holes and dents. If you're buying something where you want it to look good from the outside and you don't plan on opening it, maybe don't buy it from Temu. But the actual products themselves have all been fine. This is a very cheap Mario bag. I don't know why I bought this, honestly. Maybe I'll just keep my Pikachu in here. And then I think this is it. Game Magic. Another fake Nintendo Switch. But the first fake Switch I've ever seen that actually has removable Joy-Cons. Because fun fact, that's illegal. Nintendo have trademarked removable Joy-Cons and you're not allowed to do it even in the fake clone consoles, which is why they're always just colored that way, but not actually removable. I don't know how they got away with this. Oh, sorry, I'm still playing this 64 mod. It's so cool. I wanted to jump in and say that I took a closer look at the box for this game magic. They took a bunch of images of the Switch from promotional material and trailers and just photoshopped out the Switch and pasted the game magic console uh -huh. over the top. I don't think this is legal. Back to the game. Whoa. It is hideous. Oh, no way. It actually has a kickstand. Yo, this is the fakiest fake Switch I've ever seen. It even has little buttons to slide these off. It does make a satisfying click sound though. Just like the Switch, the buttons are god awful. There's no analog sticks. This feels like a children's leapfrog toy. Oh no. This is the second time this has happened where I've bought a knockoff console and they've just shipped the battery in the box. Okay, let's try this again and on. I plugged it in and it immediately came on. Mario Bros is under adventure. Oh no. Oh, this is so bad. You can't even tilt the screen a little bit or else you lose vision. You have to hold it perfectly in front of your face. Uh, the video is stretched. Yeah, this looks hideous. Yeah, I don't like this. It's also very slow. It feels like I'm playing in mud. Oh, but I am now realizing all this complaining. What a silly, what a silly Billy I'm being because I can switch it. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, why is up down now? Oh. Oh, it changes to sideways. That's actually kind of a nice feature that I didn't expect. So if I plug it back in, now it's converted back. That's blowing my mind. I did not expect that. It's a zero out of 10, but I'm impressed. I have not had a bad experience with Temu today. This has actually been very positive. I legitimately think this is crap and that everything else impressed me. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I'm gonna go eat lunch now. So... I'll see you next time. What just happened?